Welcome back. We're looking for this orcus today. Somewhere very, very black. It looks like it's actually inside of a cave. I don't know where. We're looking for an orcus today. You found three other orcus. Take them. What the? Okay, I'm not allowed to go through there. That's weird. I, I have a high enough diving level to go through there normally. So you've got to be pretty fast then, because what this means is you have to... I suspect that the orcfish is somewhere on route to there or something like that then, because as it goes right now, I find this orcfish here, I go ahead into the dragon's nest. I find an orfish here. And that orfish is close to the entrance or the, the next level tunnel, essentially. Like we're immediately next to the tunnel. And this can take me either to the last sanctuary, which I already looked through, I didn't see anything. It doesn't really change the situation much if you have light, to be perfectly honest. That's why I don't use a light, it doesn't make much difference. It's not dark enough without uh, to need it. You come through here. I find that monkfish. Okay, so here I can go deeper. Have I been down here? Probably. Here we go, this is absolutely it. I don't think I've been down here. This is where I actually need my light on. Jeez. Should be an orcfish around here. Should there? Wasn't that the orcfish you saw in the picture? Like right next to you here? There you are. This is a lot like the the whale graveyard in, in this ocean. And now. I had even seeing someone ascend this quickly. And now to the last orbish over here. I do like that this kind of helps guide you into with these fish search levels, give you an idea of what fish exist where. Well, what fish exist in each area, not exactly where they are. Gives you an idea of which fish exist, and also kind of helps you find interesting places. That one was very interesting, because that one was actually like, there was a route to follow. I had to figure that out. I like that. Okay, so before we say goodbye to this, I do want to take one last look. The mystery scene. I want to look at those really, really deep spots. And the best way I know to get there is actually going through the dragon's nest again. Strictly speaking, you probably don't have to. You can probably go back into that tube that leads up to the... I don't think I went... I don't think this is the right place to go. You can probably head back up into that tunnel that goes to the... that connects the last sanctuary and the dragon's nest from the trench towards the south, but... Maybe you can't go to the very bottom of that last trench without having the highest level, I don't know. 
I never had. I never encountered a case where the game told me I wasn't allowed to go deeper, though. <laughs> that's the. That's the weird thing. Another orfish. <laughs> but I do like that this led to me actually having a good sense for the place. I actually know how to get around pretty well in this mystery city area now. This game taught me things. Another orfish. It's actually in like the exact same place that we found it in the in the fish search. the surface. That's weird. Wasn't there a, a point in the game? Oh yeah, you actually can't get... So, is it, this isn't even the deepest point, you're just not able to go any deeper. That's kind of weird. But, um... The text is almost exactly the same as that one down current. Just weird. This is where I just came from. So I just head straight from here. You get a drop off here. And now you get to the really, really deep part. Ocean Grave. Yeah, like... Some of this feels like it's kind of... Did I play this before? I don't remember. I feel like some of this is kind of copying in this ocean. Like this, the whale, gra the whale grave at the very bottom of the ocean, for instance. And it looks pretty similar, even. Like, this area is practically a copy from the same... Copy of the same area in this, in this ocean. Not that, like, a... a not that it's that novel of an idea to begin with. At least where you have um, like a, a deep place in the ocean where bones have sunk, because bones might sink there. But still, a little silly. I do not have very much air in this. I still can't dive for very long. Okay, but that's that's everything in this little mini game now. That's everything in the beach resort, short of uh, seeing what it looks like at another time of day. And I guess if we feel like doing all the photo spots, since we're doing basically everything else in the game, we can also say we can try to get the photo spots at different times of day too, since the game cares about that. So that'll be a reason to come back to the beach later. But. That's all for the ocean. Whew, that was an interesting few weeks. That was like a month of diving. Oh, how's the cruiser? There we go. But you know what that means now? <laughs> a new record of what? So that's going to be the last of this place that I'm in. So I'll last run along the beach here. What's this place called? Did I ever see the name of this place? I don't think I realized this place had a name. Lots of places in this game, unfortunately. Lots of buildings aren't labeled or anything. Some places are. The doors keep open. Cobalt Harbor. At the very top, is that like a year it was established? Establish something, I can't tell what year that is. Let me in. 
For some reason, Granny is not welcome to the establishments here. I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, I have nice music here. Alright, though. So this was a place we got to know quite, quite well. Over all this time. Hello, lobster. Oh, crab. Can't quite tell. And now we'll get to know, yeah, another place. Quite, quite well over the next however many months or whatever. And then there will be two more after that. Like, man, this game just keeps on giving. It's, it's incredible to me, the scale of this game. Like, how did Namco... I'm curious what drove Namco to make such a massive, massive game here. And the production quality is also noticeably higher than other than the whiskey games. Like, was whiskey and snowboard really that successful? They felt that this was justified. Whatever it was, uh, I like it. I could use the change resort feature in the reception. I think for the moment I'll actually head back to the Ingersoll here. I'll take one last look here. This is a nice looking place too. I'm curious if we'll have something I'm curious if we will have something similar to the Ingersoll and other areas as well. Marine Hotel. This is all quite pretty. And considering there's probably a reception spot in other areas, too. There will probably also be a similar hotel there as well. I want to see these torches lit sometime. Glowing in the dark. So I'll come back here at night at some point. Once we've unlocked that. We'll see what other stuff we start unlocking once we actually start doing the stamp dash again. Ooh, hard to imagine that, uh... There's a lot more stuff to unlock through the stamp dash you just haven't seen yet. So, what's the approach for the new area? I don't know, I'll have to think about it. I might go through the tutorials in the school at some point. Like all the other stuff, we'll have to see. Uh, can I change Granny's appearance from here? Yeah, Granny. I don't really want to re-register her. Oops. Oh, do you got... Huh. Do you actually change your clothing in each area separately? I guess that might be the case. <laughs> we even have one of the resorts still left. I did not get anything, by the way, for 100 percenting that area, apparently. Oh well. Can I look at, um... No, I can't look from here at my, uh, the list of stuff I've done in the Marine Resort. It's in basically everything. Alright, but we're at basically the end of the episode anyway, so I think it'll be a good start to the next episode to do the Sea Resort then. So, next time, a whole big new world to gain. Oh my god. Bye, everyone.